All right, folks, welcome to my special Star Ocean Sunday. Yes, that's right, viewers. I've, uh, I've decided that every single Sunday I'm going to be uh, doing a Star Ocean episode uh, or two. Uh, most likely to. Uh, that way I can still get good good work on the bonus dungeon without taking too much away from dot hack infection. So without further ado, let's do this. Uh, yeah, that file. Uh, off screen, uh, since the skills on parade uh, episode, I've actually gotten a couple of new skills. It took me an incredibly long, long amount of time to do it. Uh, for opera, I got her laser bit and hyper launcher skills through machinery. I spent probably about three hours straight just making machinery kits in order to get those skills. And for Pressus, I got her barrier and Mujin super beam. Uh, these two were also made through machinery and they, they took quite a while to get. Ha. So anywho, uh, first things first, I'm going to show off those skills before I continue on with what I wanted to do today. Unfortunately, I still do not have, or Rafus is still not done translating the, or using the Parad Pandora's box to uncover the, uh, what is it? The, um, uh, the mystery data the hacked files all right yeah let's register here enter tournament let's do the team battle since i have not shown that off it's one-on-one battles first one to win three battles is the winner and this is a uh, 5v5 so let's see we'll do presses first then Afra, claude Celine, and chisato Alright, and A rank, because really, the the monsters in these ranks don't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, generally, A rank monsters will be stronger than B rank monsters, but sometimes that's not necessarily the case. If memory serves, this is how I got one of my shield items for Opera, the Star Shield. Yeah, yeah, Ernest. We get it. Simpo, step up. Alright, I've never used Majin Super B. What? This is my monster? Seriously? Oh, nice. Oh, that was very anticlimactic. Okay, the barrier's kinda neat. Alright, come on. Oh, okay, that's the Majin Super Beam. It's very underwhelming. Uh, yeah, that's the first time I've gotten that skill, too. Like, I was expecting something, you know, like a giant laser equivalent to what I've seen some of the Ten Wisemen launch against us. Alright, well, let's stop using... Never mind. I died. Yeah, I, I did not encounter a weird Davia last time I did this. Alright, whatever. Press this, you lost. Jiho, step up. And Opera fights Is this it? a one of those guys. Laser bit. Okay, that's kind of nifty. Hyper yeah, that's what I was expecting out of the Majin Super Beam. Alright, let's just finish this guy off. Bunny shoes for the win. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Sweet, now we're at one to one. Okay, Claude, you're going to uh, dominate the enemy, right? Oh, it's just oh yeah, this guy is gonna be a piece of cake. I said a piece of a piece of cake. There we go. Oh yeah, you gotta love maxing out all those battle skills. Now I'm stunning him with strong blow, or is that blow the belt? I forget which. Unfortunately, I was not able to win survival battle uh, when I tried to do it uh, after the last recording. But, uh, you know, whatever. Fukosho, step up. 
All right, Selene, I'm counting on you. Destroy enemies with your spells. All right, magic. Let's do Southern Cross. Or no, Lunar Light's stronger. Southern Cross, 3,000, Lunar Light. Lunar Light! Come on now, just beat this dude. Holy crap, yeah, Lunar Light, I like you better. Please don't eat me, please don't eat me, please don't Lunar eat me. Selene is the only party member I, who does not have bunny shoes on her at the moment, and that's because I really just did not feel like it. Aha, we won. Booyah. I guess that's it. Um, the three characters I do have bunny shoes on are Opera, Chizato, and uh, da, 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 da. Um, 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 Claude. Oh, wow. I can I not remember Claude? Yeah, Star Guard. So this is how I got that for uh, um, Opera. Wow, I cannot think today. No. <laughs> All right. Well, now that that's taken care of, let's head on to. Wait. Nope. Stay here. Let's head on to fun, excitement, and adventure. But first, killer move setting. Uh, hyper launcher looks cool and all, but it's no alpha on one. And where is it? White, uh, healing star. All right. Yeah, I grinded that a lot. That's what a lot of the, a lot of the other time came from. In between machinery sessions, I would go into the battle arena and just have Opera use Healing Star until her MP ran dry. So now it's healing for about 3,000, which is very nice. But once you reach the final save point and final, come back here, talk to this man, shall I recover your past memories. Um, what are you talking about? Virtual reality to cover memories from your subconscious. Okay. What are you talking about, old man? Yeah, I want to see what he's talking about. Virtual reality and past memories. What could this possibly mean? What? Are we. Arlia? Vern Vern. If you want to leave this virtual reality world, talk to Vern Vern and say, you silly Vern Vern, but I don't want to do that because then I have to go through all this all over again. But yeah, we are in Arlia. We're back on Expel. This is how you can get back to Expel in Disc 2. You can only be done after the game. I, I think you talked to West at a rest up. Yes, because Opera needs heals. Okay, and now for the super exciting part. Remember when I told you guys to make all those books way back in disc one? Yeah, yeah, you remember, right? You gave them to the publisher. Did you do that? I'm, if you didn't, I'm betting you're going to wish you did. <laughs> because all the battles I fought ever since I published those books at the end of disc one to now... And all the battles I fought to get myself up to level 100 for all eight characters. Yeah, it's about to pay off. Oh, and we now have a Synard. Now there's one side quest I did not do. I forgot all about it. That I could have done in disc one. It's the Rattler the Travel. Rattle the Traveler. Um, he can give you a Funny Slayer if you do that side quest correctly. Uh, I don't know all the details uh, I've done it before it's just I forgot you just basically give them directions to the a town from where you are uh, publisher oh publishers right here 
Oh no, he's a tool shop. Publisher is right next to him. Well, I don't mind me viewers. It's just been a while since I've been here. Oh yeah. And sell No, sell the books I made for Chisato. Sweet. And how well it's selling. Oh, the book you brought the other day was quite well received. Here's your royalty payment. Four million nine hundred and eighty thousand full. <laughs> oh yes. Oh I I don't have enough full viewers. I really do not have enough full. This sixteen million, it'll go bye bye. I can spend sixteen million full very easily. I won't tell you how yet, but I can. Alright, but with that out of the way, see how we've gotten all that taken care of. Let's head on to this area that was previously unaccessible. Let's just go down here. Let's make a save file just because this can get ugly viewers. Yeah, six hours to get Healing Star up to uh, nearly 700 uses and to make those two machinery items, or make those four machinery items. Ah, it's ridiculous. I never want to do that again. We're in the Heraldic Ruins, Cave of Trials, level one. This is the bonus dungeon of the game. Enemies here are uh, going to be, or enemies here will generally be harder than the, what you've encountered. But fortunately, I have a spellcaster who can keep uh, some of these other casters in check. Yeah, those witches can be annoying. And I'm not censoring myself. I'm really calling them magic casting females. I really should be attacking them first because of spells like Light Cross. And here's the question I don't know. Will Opera use her healing spells with, if she's being controlled by an AI? Might have to control Opera for this dungeon if I want that to be the case, but we'll see. For now, let's turn control over to Chizato. Oh no, not replacement. Formation. Triangle to select leader, Chizato. Ah, uh, yeah, this is a, this is a thirteen, yeah, thirteen floor dungeon with no save points. Rising dragon, haha. <laughs> Ah, uh, tear gas, nice. Are these the guys who I think they are? Oh uh, yeah, they are. Come on now, stop being invincible so Claude can hurt you. Th oh no, these aren't the these aren't the guys. Okay, I thought these were be those guys don't come into later then. No, these th these guys will just uh, turn invisible for a period of time. And that is rather annoying. Oh yeah, uh, a bunch of items I made <laughs> while trying to get those. So you know, let's do healing items. Get that, fruit nectar, nice. Oh, come on, I barely even made it through. You're in my way, let's be careful. Hmm, pardon me. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Take that. You can't defeat the rising dragon. Ah, uh, tear gas did not work like I wanted it to. Did I just hit through that guy's shield with tear gas? This is worth investigating. Alright, tear gas. Go. I think I did hit through the shield with tear gas. Oh, that makes that skill so much, so useful. Like, I don't want to always say more useful, because it already is useful. You get in a lot of hits if you're up close. Oh, uh, yeah, go up here. Then nothing! Go down here and go around for more treasure. 
enemy. I have no choice. Special attack. Rising dragon. Tear gas. Oh, come on now. At least give me time to pull out the machine before you hit me. Uh, losers. Two gas. Go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, look at all those hits. Holy cow. Tear gas is quite fearful. Ooh, and Lunar Light's probably going to finish off a couple of people. Oh, uh, no, I didn't. I, mean, I guess the void, the thing I was fighting in the arena must be weak to Lunar, to Star Elemental or whatever Elemental Lunar Light is. I've played through this game five times and I still can't keep all the elements straight. <laughs> 